Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I recently came across a new VM that is designed for gaming named Paperspace. So I actually looked them up on a post from Reddit before when I wanted to ask like how do you play Star Citizen on the web? And someone suggested Paperspace, so that's how I came across it and today I'll be showing about Paperspace the system spec and how can you create a machine on paper space right now so on paper space this is the interface that you will see i have a system here so to your one you don't have a anything here you will just have a blank interface so in order to create a machine go to the top right that says create a machine click on that in machines you can select a different operating system Usually, the best is public and parsec. This is what you should be choosing. And inside parsec, you only have two options here, the GPU and the P4000. The best you can do is P4000, but if you really want to limit your money down, M4000 actually will work. For me, I have requested quota ex increase, so I have got all those options available. But in case you don't have that available, you can uh, um, go to the help menu and just talk to their support and try to request for a quota increase. Or you can click so by clicking on one of the locks on any one of the GPU that you don't have. By doing that, you can have the request of approval and you can type something something like I wanna game star citizen or some sort and just click add and they will be in touch with you. For me, I just uh, directly the email them and I got the paper space quota increase that way. You don't have multi CPU and C uh, multi GPU and CPU as you probably won't need multi GPU for that anyways, unless you are going for things like faster AIs or you are going to um, set up machine learning or something. For this space, Usually for me, 500 gigabyte is enough as I just want to play something like Star Citizen, maybe No Man's Sky, Cyberpunk, and Rainbow Six Siege, which they take quite a bit of storage as well. So for you, maybe if you just want to play a single game, 250 gigabyte is only enough. But if you just want to play a whole list of games, 500 gig. So by setting it up like that, for me, I am using a RTX 4000 series and I am using 500 gigabyte for my disk drive and I got two locations available. Some of them have the third one in Europe. You just have to tweak around with it, maybe like tweak this, maybe like click that and see, you have the Europe options available on, on your end. But some of them are some, so you just have to stick with United States. Just have to figure that out. And the advanced options, the best I would do is turn it off the snapshot. That saves you like a lot of money. And also, you might want to set the auto shutdown to one hour. So that means one hour uh, in the for the system will automatically shut down, which also just is a money saving tips on paper space. And unless you don't want hassle logging with parsec, you want static. But for me, I'm going for dynamic just to save money because, you know, you can just uh, verify your email anytime using your Gmail and that shouldn't be too much of a hassle. And that is the end for the price and summary. You do not want to have money monthly building because it's going to be a pain for $400 on, on your bill every single month, which is not good. So now after you have created, you see such interface. So you will see Cloud PC2. And what you do, just click start. In the meantime, I will show you around the different options you have available. This is your machine. I have set it to one hour shutdown frequency and I set it to dynamic public IP. Your network is public paper space, of course. You do not want to change anything. And in snapshots, if this was enabled, disable it since you probably don't need snapshots unless you are going to remove your system often which if you do you probably want to enable it but usually it's not even disabled and you 
and this is nothing you have to care about just a template which you can do and here you can see the different logs like when did you start the machine up when did you stop the machine and so on or edit the, like the drives and something and inside the drives this is shared data shared drive means you can able to have different machines on paper space say like you can have a windows have a linux and a different machine and you can like share the drive between all three of the system it's good for like if you for coders basically say if you i want to code on linux using this or i want to code on windows and i want to um do the testing on windows maybe code on linux something like that the shared drive is the best for you but for gaming probably don't need it for network you can get a help of private networks or such VPNs, but I think that was also for business. And here we go. Back to the machine, it says on and ready. So my one is a RTX 4000 series. And what you do, just click connect. And the first thing you need to do is just hop on Parsec. sign out because you see that says hash zero is glitched you just want to sign out and sign in with your personal up personal account here we go i'm signed in and now you can close the tab now go to your pc and type in parsec if you don't have parsec installed you can just type in parsec on Okay, here we go, the Parsec, and you can now click on download on, on here, or you can click download there as well, and then you can download for like your Windows device or your Linux, if you do use a Linux, and now you can click on connect. And here we go, this is your new cloud PC that from Paperspace, you, you see this little floating icon this is where you can change everything such as you want to have oh yeah i just want to mute this let's just mute the sound i don't need to hear the sound anymore and the codec the best you can do is h.265 let me drag it here so you can see what is going on so you you have better quality and latencies which is always better for decoders use nvidia to prevent lag resolution you can always use client resolution, which is your PC's resolution, but if you want to say that I just want a specific resolution for the Parsec, you can also change it here and that was applied directly at the host. And bandwidth limit, you should you should keep it at 50 megabit per second. You don't really need constant FPS, which that kind of sometimes glitches for itself for a little bit. And that is the tutorial I should be um telling you for today and if you do like papers back feel free to go sign up and of course if you have any question please leave it down in the comments and i'll try to answer and now a little fps benchmark for no man's sky hopefully if i even have it installed so no man's sky is one of my recent playing games and i kind of like it oh it's actually installed so now if I turn on my razor, we'll just type in no man's sky. I shouldn't have it. I should be able to launch it. Yes. In order to access the uh, task manager, you have to like control delay and you click on the task manager or you can like set up a shortcut tskmgr.exe, which you also need to task manager, but and how to eat. For the spec I chose, I use a Xeon Silver, which you can't pick the CPU, that's why you have to only pick the GPU and they will allocate a CPU to you. So the GPU that is on the machine is Quadro RTX 4000. I need it for the ray tracing, that's why. And this um, is a HDD for some reason, but according to the benchmark, it is a RAM cache. So here you go. Yeah. All right. Actually, the lag was a bit minimized now, so it's, so it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. And if I load in my save, time to see whether I can get things running for a little. 
Wait, it does work. So paper space I did encounter a few bugs before with is automatically shut down. I am actually in contact with the paper space developer and see if I can solve it out. And if, if I don't, I'll, I'll provide a response to it. So here we go. From, from what you can tell right now, I'm not uh, recording on the machine or paper space, I'm recording on my base computer, so if you do see lag, it could be just come from directly from the paper space. I mean, after I have launched the paper space machine and logged into it, of course. The first load of No Man's Sky could take a tiny bit while. So you just have to just, so just sit here and enjoy the loading screen then. I'll see you guys after loading. So I'm back in and is this smooth? Actually not gonna lie, pretty pretty smooth now. And can I still assess the info lag? No I can't. Ah, oh well, that kinda sucks. And not bad. Um, well, I think I'll just play No Man's Sky on, on here for a while then. But at least that's the end of the video and glad you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time.